Welcome to Programming Knowledge. In the previous video, we knew how to set up the free RTOS library on Arduino. And now today, I will tell you how to use free RTOS functions on Arduino. We will know how to create a task, how to handle a task in a period of time so that the program can run concurrently. Okay, now let's go. At the beginning, uh, I will include the free RTOS library into our project like this. You can remember this line or include via sketch, include library and by the free RTOS right here. Click on it and it will generate right here. Okay. After include the library, uh, I will uh, give you two samples. The first one I will bring to serial monitor with two tasks. Okay. So that is different from each other. And the second, I will control let and bring to serial monitor at the same time. Same time. Code without free RTOS and free RTOS. Okay? You will see the difference when using free RTOS and without free RTOS in this video. Okay, let's go. Uh, that some procedure to create um, uh, some task right here. The first one, I want to create two tasks. And I have a first function, a void. Task 1. Okay, uh, I will put a task in green 1. And I will transfer the parameter right here. Uh, we don't want, uh, we don't need to change any parameter. So I will put void right here, okay? Param. Copy and paste. Right here, I will change to task bring 2. Okay, this is two tasks we will code. And then I have to create two handle tasks by both of this, okay? We have task handle t don't change anything and now this is the name you can change anything you want i will put a task uh, handle one okay next copy and pass that's handle two okay this is some procedure and now uh, we will code inside both of this uh, function and remember the function in task will be put below void loop and void setup function. Remember that. Because in free TOS we don't need to use void loop so we don't need to put any code in the void loop. Okay. Um don't put code right here. Okay. We will uh code for the task one void task print one okay that's print one and we don't need to transfer any parameter i will put void and param okay to inform the program no we don't need to use any param we need to uh, put void void and param right here okay easy right next we need to put a uh, inf infinite loop Okay, the infinite loop right here is y, 1, and like this. You cut right here. Or you don't, you don't want to use y, you can use 4, double semicolon, and cut right here. Okay, there are two ways to create an infinite loop in a task. But I love the first one. So, I will delete 4. Okay, right here, I will put a serial to bring to monitor and a delay time to switch between two tasks okay mm, i will put serial monitor a uh, serial dot print print line task one and i will put a delay right here the procedure of delay is v task delay until oh sorry v task delay 1000 uh, slash for tick the period 
ms ms right here is millisecond okay this means uh, mm, the arduino will bring to serial or monitor h1 sec okay this is that's one okay i will copy all of this and paste right here i will change it to s2 and change it to that too okay everything like this okay after um, code something into task we will set up right here the first one we have to set up the zero monitor zero dot begin nine six zero zero bar rate and next we will create two tasks okay this is the task we want to create this is the task handle procedure to handle task and we will create task with the parameter is task sprint and that handle okay like this task create right here i will transfer task sprint one task sprint one next is the name of task you can put task one and next is the stack memory you don't need to uh, worry about this if you uh, do something important or something bigger like the hawk project you need to care about this but mm, this is just an example you don't need to care about this okay and next is the parameter because we don't transfer any parameter in the two of tasks so we put none right here and next is priority i will put one and the last one is task handle we have a uh, end right here okay i will copy and past we will create two tasks to do i will put the priority as a same and i will uh, change it for you to see the different okay this is um, project create two tasks green two zero monitor task one and task two at the same time each one second okay let's come by and see what happened okay now i will upload to my arduino and see what happened in zero monitor you can see the the arduino bring to zero monitor task one and task two at the same time you see at the same time per one second but now we will change the priority uh you need to uh remember like this the priority is low uh, the highest priority it will run first okay i will change the last two to two and then let's see the that's two will print first and then it will print that's one yeah you can see that that's two and that's one that's two and that's one okay that's in the um, symbol assemble for bring to zero monitor with two tasks you can handle your task like this but instead of using zero monitor you can um, control your lead or something okay now let's move to the second assemble uh my second assemble is control lead and bring to zero monitor at the same time uh the first one I will um, use free or TOS first and then uh, I will um, use normal code with our free or TOS okay right here I will control left via button via button sorry via button okay um, I will command this code and let uh, create again I have include I don't know void task one void task two but i would change it to uh, uh, task control let and task print okay and i have to handle task okay that's handle one that's handle two and i have voice set up invoice setup i will um open zero monitor 
and um, set up the pin mod. Default let e thirteen is output. Okay. Next, uh, task gray. I will change the name to task control led and task print. This is task one and task two. Task handle one, task handle two. I will put at the same priority. Okay. Okay. Right now, I will create void loop, but don't put anything. And void mm, task control led I will um, transfer any parameter void param okay I have a infinite loop right here okay right now that's control I will uh, control led via button okay if digital read uh, I will use the bin 8 is the button and I have a uh, while up here to avoid uh, bring too much time uh, digital right behind else digital right mm, low okay and I forgot to put the input right here, pin mod uh, 8, input, pull up. Pull up means you don't need to use uh, register with the button. You only need to uh, connect the button to the um, ground and the pin 8. Okay, this is the task 1. Task control it, and now I will create a Aspirin I also don't transfer the baram I have a Y Ah sorry I forgot to put a delay One second End of the infinite Okay, end of the infinite oh, Zero monitor, zero dot print um pass print okay okay right here this is the circuit i connected the button to the pin 8 and chain d now we upload the code um, right here we'll put the print line okay let's upload okay done I will open the serial monitor. You can see that it will print pass print. And now I will try to press the button. Although I press the button, the pass print will print to serial monitor. Okay, because this is free RTOS. It will switch in between two tasks concurrently, so it will uh, not um, stop the program. Okay, let us show you. I press and release the let it blink okay you can you you, you could not see that because the task print is too much now i will clear output and rest again rest you can see the task print will bring to serial monitor and i release it will blink rest release blink rest blink okay that's a uh, free on tos now i will try caught as the normal way don't use free RTOS and see what happened when I press the button okay now I will um, delete all of this delete all of this I have voice set up okay I will open the serial monitor because uh, we don't need to use free RTOS so we don't need to put the free RTOS library Okay, right here we have pin mod 8 input pull up and pin mod is output. Okay, enough. Right here, if I press the button 8 and 
why I until press the button it will it don't do anything okay if I press the digital right to 13 is low and else I will turn on LED okay and right here I will print the serial monitor serial dot print print okay and delay 1000 give me one sec okay now I will uh, um, upload the code and see what happened Green LN okay and now I will press the button the program will be stopped and when it release the button the program run okay you can see what happened that's the reason why they usually use uh, free RTOS on Arduino to uh, manage uh, a lot of tasks in in uh, um, important project. Okay, that's uh, the difference between free RTOS and without free RTOS. Okay, next video I will um, give you some sample and um, some delay with one second is more accuracy. Thank you for watching this video.